Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking a little more in depth and showcasing the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Polish and Wax. Okay, so like I mentioned, we are going to be going in depth, taking a better look at the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Polish and Wax. Um, this is a product that, I, if you've been following the channel, you know that I am very curious and excited for. Um, it is a ceramic SiO2 infused uh, polish and wax. This isn't going to be a heavy cut polish. Um, that's why it is a polish. It's, it is going to do some paint correcting. It's not going to get some really deep uh, imperfections out of the paint if that's what you're going for. But as a maintenance and enhancer, this is going to be a product that is going to work extremely well. It's going to be a product that I feel that you're going to like a lot. Um, you can pick this up, it's 14 ounces. You can pick it up for around $14 is the current price on it right now on the filming of this video. But this product is something that I have liked a lot using. I want to show you guys. I have the test panel set up. I'm gonna be showing you doing it by machine and then also by hand. The results you can expect to see and the protection that you'll get, we won't get into that a whole lot because this product does need 24 hours of cure time. Once we have that 24 hours of cure time, it's probably gonna be a separate video. We're gonna come in and we're gonna see what the protection is like. So if this is something that you're interested in and you like watching and you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Also hit the thumbs up on the video. All your support is greatly appreciated. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. But onto the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution Ceramic Polish and Wax. This is an all-in-one formula, delivers amazing clarity, shine, and protection. Precision polishing agents remove scratches, swirls, and other paint imperfections. So this has got a very unique abrasive in it. It's what they call platelets. Uh, your platelets, of course, are like a plate. They're flat. Most of your abrasives are very jagged. They're very rough. That's why you're going to get an extreme cut, sometimes a faster cut. This product is going to take a little bit longer to work with but it is very safe, very, very user-friendly, and those platelets basically just rub on top of each other. They're not these real jagged pieces just kind of just getting swirled around. That's not bad, but the platelet technology in this product makes it extremely user-friendly. It says that it has synthetic wax polymers, increases depth of color, gloss, and shine, super hydrophobic and SiO2 polymers, unique blend delivers extreme water beating and chemical resistant protection for months. So that is very cool to me. This whole hybrid solutions line from Turtle Wax is very cool. They're all SiO2 products. They're all ceramic products. Turtle Wax, as you know, have gotten into the line of ceramics at a very, very affordable cost for us users, which is extremely exciting and very cool. On the back, I'll just go over the directions real quick. It says wash and dry car, shake well, avoid application on hot surfaces, it's always best to avoid application of hot surfaces, uh, but we were using this stuff in the sun and on very hot surfaces. It was about 90 degrees that day, and it was working without any problems. For best results, do not over apply high active formula. Two ounces per vehicle is recommended. So 14 ounces, two ounces per vehicle, that is really, really good. You're not going to mow through this product really bad or real fast. That is also very nice, really cool. A little bit does go a long ways. For the hand application, they say, apply three dime sized drops to a foam applicator pad and spread product evenly over a two foot by two foot section with light to moderate pressure and overlapping circular motion. Remove excess with a microfiber cloth, turning to a clean side for the final wipe. Use a damp microfiber cloth to remove high spots and activate shine polymers. Rewipe with a dry microfiber cloth if necessary. So the damp microfiber cloth, I will show in this video also, when you're using the damp, microfiber cloth to activate those polymers and the SiO2, you can feel the surface get extremely slick once you have that water on it and you're knocking down any high spots or anything, leveling it out. And that is when you get the extreme amount of shine and gloss out of this product. For machine application, it says, apply four dime size drops evenly spaced onto a medium foam buffing pad. Apply two foot by two foot section and slowly spread product over the surface at a low setting. Turn DA machine to low, to spread product, then using light to moderate pressure in a crosshatch pattern. Remove with a microfiber cloth. Use a damp microfiber cloth to remove any high spots and activate shine polymers. Rewipe with a dry microfiber cloth if necessary. So 
It is pretty much the same by hand or by machine. Very, very user-friendly product, great product. That's enough of me talking about it. Let's actually see this product get to work. Let's see the imperfections that it will remove. We have some very heavy scratches on this panel. We have light scratches to very heavy. So we're gonna to get to see exactly how it's gonna be with those scratches for removing them. It does say to use a foam pad. I am going in with a microfiber pad. I'm not gonna use a foam pad. I'm gonna use a microfiber, which is a little bit more of an aggressive pad than a foam pad, but it is totally fine and it will work. You can mix and match your pads to your liking of what you like and how you like to do your process of polishing. So let's head over to this test panel, check it out, get close on it, show you the scratches, and let's get into using this ceramic polish and wax and see the results that we can get out of it. So here is the test panel. As you can see, it has a very, very heavy scratch through the center section here where something has hit it. Um, there's also a very large dent and a very heavy scratch. It's gonna be hard to get down in there. Of course, that scratch is not gonna get out, um, but this is some, some good surface scratching and marring along with your typical spider webs, holograms, so the panel is definitely in need of some paint correction or polishing, however you want to, however you want to classify what this panel is needing. So that's what we can see there. We'll also come in with a light. Hopefully we can show the scratches a little bit better if I can get it at the right angle. But you can see all the swirls, the scratching. So it definitely is a perfect candidate to see exactly how it's going to get all of the imperfections out of. But that's enough talking about it. Here is the panel I did show you guys. So let's get into this. Let's start using this product and see what kind of results we can get out of it. So first I'm gonna put just a little bit on the panel here. The only reason why I'm doing this is I wanna put it on, kind of smear it out thin so we can see, so we can see this product kind of smeared out, what to expect out of it. I'll bring the camera in closer to show you guys. But as you can see here, there is some light abrasives that you can see in it. It has a great mango scent. It's just a light, creamy formula. It's nothing super, super thick or heavy. So that's kind of what the product looks like there. It has a great scent to it. Let's get the uh, microfiber applicator, do it by hand, and see the results that we can get from this product that this product will deliver to us by using it by hand, and then we'll hop into the machine. So it says to use three dime sized drops doing it by hand. Um, I've just got two here. So we don't really need three dime sized drops for this area. This is not a two foot by two foot area. So this is going to be actually probably way more product than we're going to need. Because this product a little bit does go a long ways as I've mentioned. So it's just kind of your typical, if you're applying waxes by hand, if you are a circular motion uh, kind of person that likes to apply your waxes by hand, same thing with this product. It has a very long working time. It doesn't dry out fast, which is really nice. And I'm just using a microfiber uh, foam applicator or I like to use these applying waxes or sealants or anything like that. So we have applied this by hand. We've done the circular motions. I know I'm just doing straight lines. You can also do that if you are against doing circular motions. Either way, this product is going to work really, really well. So once you got the product on there, you've massaged it into the surface by hand. We didn't spend a whole lot of time. We weren't hitting it super heavy or hard because you're not gonna sit there by hand and wanna do a whole car focusing a lot of hand movement over the whole car. You're gonna get wore out. So something like that is basically how you would feel comfortable and not wear yourself out uh, going over the whole car with this polish and wax. So when you come in with it, you can always do the finger swipe test to see. It is going to uh, smear. It does stay in a working condition. It does not flash super fast, which is a good thing. But this is one thing I like about this product a lot is you can just come in with your microfiber and it just wipes off without streaking. Very nice, very easy, very effective. That's what I mean by this product is a very user-friendly product. It does a great job. So there is the section that we have done by hand. Um, I can see right now some improvements as you can see in the camera on this left side. Um, there is a difference. 
But now the important part is coming in with the damp microfiber to activate those shine polymers. So I'll get that damp microfiber and we'll just wipe that down real quick to activate those. So you don't have to have your microfiber damp or wet. Um, you can have a spray bottle with some water and you can spray that on and then go over with your microfiber towel to do it that way as well. And that will work perfectly fine. Or you can have a damp one. But as I've mentioned, once you get this wet and you start buffing off any of those high spots, which I did not see any, this stuff gets super, super slick, which I like a lot. You can tell it has activated the SiO2 and it has made it a lot slicker, a lot glossier, and it looks really good. So for doing that by hand, I am very, very surprised, very happy with the results. As you can see here, there is quite a bit of a difference. I'll bring you in closer. We'll get the light also so we can see. Before I bring it in up close, I'm actually going to just remove the tape on the top and the sides so we can see the tape line, where it was at, and the before and after. I know my tape was hard to remove there. It's just some junk tape. <laughs> I need to uh, get some better tape. Let's come in, take a closer look at this. So as you can see here, where the tape was, this is just doing it by hand with minimal effort. Did it remove all the imperfections? No, but it has definitely made it look a lot better, a lot glossier, and a lot shinier. So it has made a big difference doing it by hand. You can still see this heavy scratch here. It's not as heavy as it was over here or further on. It is definitely still there. That is a very bad scratch. Uh, but the surface is extremely slick. You can hear my fingers drag there. So that surface is very, very slick. Very impressed with how it has turned out. We'll come in with the light so we can see a little bit closer and a little bit better. So it has made the metal flake pop a lot more. So there is a nice 50-50 there. Yes, you can still see the swirls. But like I mentioned, we just did it by hand. Very quick, very easy. So the results you get out of doing it that quick and that easy are very, very impressive personally. But let's head over to this other side with a microfiber pad on my polisher. And let's see what kind of results we can get out of it by using a machine. So they say to use four dime size drops. Um, I'm only doing two because of the area, just like before. But they say to just put it on, turn the speed all the way down. I always like to just kind of smear the product a little bit and then go ahead and turn the machine on to the low setting, get it all spread out. I will speed the machine up. Um, I'm gonna turn the sound down so you don't have to listen to this thing just going crazy. Maybe we'll throw in a little bit of music or something. Um, I'm not gonna speed it up maybe halfway through. I will. I want to show you how slow I'm gonna work this in because that is key with this product is working it very slow because of that platelet technology. If you go fast with it with machine, you will get good results, but you can get better if you take your time with it. So we did three passes, absolutely zero dusting. It is still not flashed. It is still workable. 
This product, the work time on it is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna come in, go ahead, we'll wipe this off. Once we get it wiped off, the results that we can see already are looking much better, but we are definitely gonna to wanna to come in closer and check this out. Like I've mentioned before, wiping this product off is such a breeze. It makes it so nice. I absolutely love how easy it is to wipe off just because you have some products that really take a lot of extra effort to wipe off. Uh, this one does not. You don't have to let it set. You don't have to let it cure. It just does a really, really good job. And then of course you come in with the wet microfiber to knock down any high spots if there is any and to activate those polymers, those SiO2. It does activate it, it does set it. It is not a false claim. You can definitely, if you've used this product, you know what I'm talking about. You can feel it as you come in with the water. Then I just like to come in with my microfiber and knock down any of that water that is left behind with my dry one. The surface is extremely slick, very shiny. The gloss is really, really good. And I am very, very surprised with how well it has done. Let me go ahead and peel the sides and the top of the tape off like we did on the other side so we can see. But this big scratch that was to the center, we do have the deeper ones, of course, that are gonna be in there, but it has removed that really, really good. So once I get this tape removed and we come in, we can definitely see that. I'm gonna zoom out just a bit so we can see the panel. I'm gonna actually center the camera up so we can see both sides. You can see where that big scratch, that big scuff was through there. So there's definitely a big difference between hand and by doing it by machine, which is no surprise because you cannot make your arm or your hand move as fast as a machine does. So coming in closer to see the job that it has done, here is it from the top. So this was the original scratch in the center here. That's what we were able to do by hand. And then here is what the machine was able to do. You can see those deeper scratches that are still, you know, a lot deeper in the clear coat that is gonna be a lot harder to remove. But overall, it has done an amazing job. Any of the light imperfections, these light swirls are totally gone. It has made the depth, the clarity, the shine, everything so much better. And it is definitely doing as claimed. We'll come in with a light. So as we can see, there is, here is that scuff. So there's by hand, here's how it was. And then right here is doing it by machine. So huge difference in the clarity of the paint. And we'll just keep going back and forth. You can still see some light swirls where we did it by hand. Here is how the panel was. And then here is doing it by machine. All those light imperfections, it is taken out with ease and has made this color really, really pop. And of course, like I've been showing, these deep scratches are the only thing that it hasn't been able to remove, but I wasn't expecting it to, and it has done an absolutely fantastic job. This product does as claimed, super easy to work with by hand or by machine, long working times, great scent, and it's also leaving protection behind. The slickness between the two is the same on both sides, maybe a little bit slicker where we did it by machine. That's just because we have a smooth panel. But now we're gonna allow this 24 hours for these two spots to cure. Um, it says that it is chemical resistant. If a torture test is something you'd like to see, definitely drop it in the comments down below. I would love to torture test these two surfaces here to see if there's a difference on the one that we did by hand compared to machine if the protection levels are different or if they are the same. So if you wanna see a torture test, definitely drop in the comments down below. I would love to make that. I will let this cure for 24 hours. But if that's not something you wanna see these two pieces being torture tested, that is not a problem whatsoever. But I just thought it'd be something kinda of cool to see in comparison between the two. But here are the two sides. Absolutely night and day difference. Great product, 100%. All right, so what are your guys' thoughts on the ceramic polish and wax from Turtle Wax, their hybrid solutions line? Personally, 
It's a great product. The results that you get out of it are really, really good because this isn't a heavy correcting compound. This is not specifically targeting severe paint defects and imperfections and in trying to make the surface look new again. This is a polish and wax. It does a great job, actually personally a phenomenal job with the imperfections that it does remove and the luster and the shine and the depth and clarity of the paint once you get done with it. Using it by hand, super easy to do. If you have something that just has a few light little swirls or something on it, doing it by hand is so easy, plus you're laying down and leaving protection behind. You can feel that protection, that slickness when you are wiping it down and especially once you hit it with your wet microfiber towel. So that right there is a two-in-one formula. Really, really cool, absolutely love it. I wanna hear your guys' thoughts, comments, what you think about it, if you've used it, if you haven't. For the price, for 14 ounces, like I said, the filming of this video, it's right around $14. That is definitely a huge benefit and plus to me. Great product, great scent, amazing performance. Does leave the protection behind. With that being said, if you want to see the torture test, like I've already mentioned, definitely let me know. I would love to do it. We can see the durability, the protection, what it is left behind. The only thing, the reason why I'm not doing it now, is it does need that 24 hours of cure time. With that, you're going to see the optimum results that you're going to get from this product. But hopefully this video has answered any questions you might have had, or if you were curious about this product, hopefully it has answered those questions, it has showed you how it performs, it is a great product, great scent. Total Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Polish and Wax is a top quality product. For the price, what you get, you cannot beat it. Great product. Definitely two thumbs up, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. Definitely very anxious to hear if you guys want to see the protection that it left behind and a torture test done to that panel as well. Throw those in the comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Helps the video out. Share it with a friend. Share it on another platform. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not, but I appreciate all you guys stopping in and checking out this video, and I will catch you all in the next one, and until then, take care.